Okay, as we were trying to work out in our group um, why we'd all been put together, we thought it might be because we all had something to do with um, publishing of some sort. And then we realized that Mayol was there and he claimed that he was not going off to work for a publishing. So that nixed that. Um, but what we did decide was that it would be really useful to see if we could use um, the software assessment framework as the basis for something that a lot of authors, reviewers, and journal editors would really like to be able to do, which is understand whether or not the software or indeed the data that is being submitted to the journal passes some minimum level of criteria. So uh, an example for data might be that the data um, set actually exists, it's not a blank file, or that it has, uh, it has at least one column of data or one row of data for the software, that it has the license and so on. And we thought all of these things look like they could be done using the software assessment framework. We have those kind of metrics. So what would we need to do to make this um, actually usable? Well, we want to have some way of, of uh, improving the workflow so that effectively the journal is asking the author to run the check first. As a result of running that check, they get back something um, which they can pass on as a token to the journal, and then the journal can go to the reviewer. Um, this uh, software or data has passed its initial checks, you can now worry about the actual hard scientific reviewing of the software or the data. So, can we lash together the software assessment framework, something like um, Overleaf, which allows you to write papers, um, to kind of link into something like open badging, um, that will allow us to place a badge into a paper so that both a reviewer and an editor knows that the software or data has been checked. And uh, we think this is completely possible as long as we get some developers, because uh, none of us are particularly good at coding. So, you know, <laughs> if we latch this together, it might break faster than if someone else comes and helps us. So, yes, we need developer help.